What I think is interesting about the term misdirection is it's a misnomer. Most people think it means look at this hand while I do something with this one. But actually, what I want to do is direct and control your attention, at least know where it is. Because if I send your attention off into the darkness, it can come around just like throwing a boomerang and hit me when I don't want it to. So I like to think of it as managing attention. Because control is a hard word, but I manage the attention kind of like water flow. And I see where it goes, and then I have to move with that. Your attentional spotlight is only the size of your thumbnail, one one thousandth of your field of view. That means if I can see where your eye motion is, I can now navigate around that and do certain things. Plus, because you have to make choices between all your senses, your vision, your hearing, all those are coming into one spot. If I can tap into your priority system, I can now start hacking to reprioritize certain things so that other things will go under the radar. And that's a very interesting way to take advantage of attention. Try to follow along. If I put the cap on the pen, it looks like it goes away, yet right now it's behind my elbow. If I put it back on the pen, it goes away, but now it's behind my ear. Now, if you did this slowly, you could see when I put the cap on the pen, yet it seems like the cap went away, and now the cap is behind my ear. It's a fun game, isn't it?